In this problem, we're going to integrate x plus 5 times x minus 3. So we have a product. So unfortunately, there is no product rule for integration. So in order to do this, uh, we just have to distribute this. So we, we write the integral sign again. And we take the x and we multiply it by each of these. So x times x is x squared. Then x times minus 3 is minus 3x. Then we do the 5. 5 times x is 5x. And then 5 times minus 3 is minus 15. Let's just check that. We did x times x. That gave us x squared. x times minus 3 gave us minus 3x. 5 times the x gave us 5x down here. And 5 times negative 3 gives us minus 15. Parentheses, and don't forget the dx. So really important to always write uh, the integral sign and the dx until you actually uh, integrate. So this is the integral of. Let's go ahead and collect like terms. So we have parentheses x squared minus 3x plus 5x is going to give us a plus 2x. And then we have the minus 15 and then parentheses dx. All right, now we're in a good place. Now we can um, integrate each piece term by term. So we can use the power rule on this piece, which says basically we add 1 to the exponent and divide by the result. So 2 plus 1 is 3. So we have x to the 3, and then you divide by 3. Notice that I didn't write the integral sign or the dx. That's because we're using the formula, so that's when you stop writing it. Here there's a 1. So the 2 hangs out because it's in front of the x. And then you add 1 to the exponent. And then you divide by the result, again, using the power rule. Whenever you have a constant by itself and you integrate it, you just get an x next to it. So minus 15x. And let's not forget the plus c. So we have 1 third x cubed plus these cancel, so we have x squared minus, and then 15x, and then plus capital C. And that would be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful.